Yo, Ryan Trunky here. So today I'll be doing what if Deku had energy manipulation part 18. So let's get started. So the last time I ended the video with what's happening? What am I? The man seemed extremely confused and scared as Izuku walked up. Who are you people? Then Izuku said in questioning manner. Dad? As the man was still confused, he began to yell out question out of fear. Who are you? What did you call me dad? My son was barely born. With that, I ended the last video. So today's part starts from here. Several hours after arrest of All for One and the strange transformation into Izuku's father, Hisashi Midoriya, the man will be seen in interrogation room with the de detective Takushi All Might and Izuku trying to pull through this confusion. I keep telling you, I'm not this awful one person. Keep calling me. I'm just a salary worker that keeps getting sent overseas. There can be no way you are my father. You disappeared 15 years ago while going on a trip and we never heard from you since. And I keep telling you, kid, I'm not your dad. The detective seemed very puzzled as he came over with a small needle. Mr. Midoriya. Can you please take your arm out so we can draw a little blood? Then the man asked, Why? Because we're going to run a little test to clear things up. Hisashi did as he was asked for three to leave the room. Once the door was shut, All Might asked his friend about this. What can you tell? All three of us saw him transform into All for One into this man. So I should be able to tell he was lying. Should? Both ask this alike at the same time Tsukushi explained. As far as I can tell, he has no one slide to us. Interesting. Either this some shame of his to be released due to this or he may actually be telling us the truth best to his knowledge. Izuko looked back to the room to see his father pulling his face down with his hand. Where do we go from here? Since I pulled blood sample, we're going to do both quirk tests and parental DNA test on you Midoriya to make sure he's telling the truth if he isn't and this is some shame We should be able to tell right off the bat if one of the other is a lie I will take you so it will take some time though So recommend you to go home and get little rest fair enough Fair enough, I'll drive you home, young Midoriya. The two had gotten in All Might's pickup truck to begin driving home. The car was silent until All Might broke the silence. Young Midoriya, are you okay? There was an uncomfortable silence again, with Izuku looking at All Might and he said, I haven't heard, I haven't heard anything from my father for 15 years. My mother believed he up and left us. Now, out of nowhere, he's... He's this all-powerful enemy. How do you think I'm doing? Izuku realized his outburst to the pro and how it was kind of mean sounding. Sorry, it's not your fault that uh, this is happening. Olma tried to think of something to try and get whatever he could to understand this little better. What do you know of your father as a person? As far as I can tell, he was a kind man and loved my mom without question. They grew up together and knew each other since they were like two. When my mom was pregnant with me, he asked his job if there was any way for them to cut back trips abroad since he only got like a week back home between them. They gave him a, like, uh, gave him a song and dance before sending him away about a week after I was born. After that, I never heard from him again. Mom asked his job what happened for them to just say they stumped uh, like as well. Uh, it's like it's like he suddenly jumped off the face of the earth. Almost seemed intrigued by this before answering. I believe you, your father couldn't be all for one. If he was, your father would not be able to grow up with your mother. Izuku wanted to believe this, but he didn't know what to believe at this moment. Here was a man who his mother spoke so highly of for years trying to kill him. Maybe it's the sleep diversity that's missing with me. So guys, are you still watching until now? If you are, tell me what's your favorite color, okay? 
just I'm intrigued for me it's kind of blue so yeah the duo found their way to Izuku's home with the green haired boy thanking all might for the ride before heading inside once he opened the door he was met with the three people hugging him Izuku while realizing what was happening he noticed his mother Otaku and Nijure giving him death hug from the amount of worry they had for the teenager what happened who was the man on the screen why did you act like you knew him why aren't you answering any of my question? Because you're not letting me? Sorry, Nijere stopped with Izuku commenting. Right now, I don't have much information. I should get an answer in a few hours, but until then, I think I'll take a nap. Izuku looked at Nijere and Ochako's eye to see bag under them and like indicate they may have not slept so much. You two can take my bed. You look like you need sleep more than me. Not unless you come with us. Both objected with Izuku giving a sight. Alright, let me just grab something to eat before heading in. But please try and not over like overzert yourself. I worry for you just as much as you worry for me. With a few kind words and some kisses to each other, the two girls went to bed while Izuku made a small sandwich. Mom who exactly was that? Inko looked at her son confused as he asked again. The man on the screen, he turned into that. I don't know how, but I just want to know if he had any demons you know about. No, I'm sorry, but your father was never that type of man who needed to fight his own demons. He compassionate and caring. The only problem he had was not being able to see me so often because of his work. He thought it wasn't fair for me and I got worse when I was pregnant with you. Every time they refuse his attempts to stay in Japan, he gets very angry. I could calm him down, but the week after you were born was the last straw for him. He said he refused to take any more trips aboard after that one. He didn't mind his job, but the, uh, like abroad uh, like trips when you were an infant was nailed in the coffin. So what happened that day he disappeared? I don't know. He said he was getting on the plane with his boss calling like calling me asking where he was a few days after. They asked the local authorities in Germany with none of them knowing where he was. It was like your father disappeared from getting into the plane. Izuku and Inko held their heads down as the green haired boy finished his sandwich before going to get a little sleep, like sleep. Thank you for if my phone rings and I don't answer it right, right away, can you wake me up? Sure, Inko said. Izuko walked into his room and like laid between Nijere and Ochako who hugged him before they went into deep state of sleep. With All Might and Mirio, All Might had been asked by Mirio to see him prior to like leaving with Izuku. They decided to meet to at nearby park with the blonde boy a little confused. Hey All Might, I have a question about one for all. What is it young Togata? Well, is it possible for you to like see the past user to talk to you it happened once with my master but yes is it is possible why mirio was a little conflicted on how to answer this so he decided to just get to the point i think the first user of one for all contacted me last night in dream all might listen very carefully as mirio explained the dream to the pro hero so flashback to mirio's dream so I found myself in floating in what seemed to be a sea of darkness with only my eyes and part of my left hand visible. I couldn't speak but I could tell that there were a total of 7 people that I could see as a solid entity and 8 was there that seemed to resemble All Might in his scrawnier form. So you are the ninth user that's able to use our power. A man with an uncapped hair and what seems to be torn clothes on spoke to me while explaining what was happening. I shall make this simple. I am here to warn you of all for one and how he is not gone yet. I questioned this a bit while he spoke about what's happening. My brother's evil is more unique and connect to the souls with the most hatred and 
bitterness. Along with this, those around the man possessed by the evil will hold more darkness in them and commit two things they would otherwise never do in their lives. I tried to ask the like apparition what he meant about unique evil but then he faded away and said we'll talk again soon that that's when i woke up so with mario and all might now in the present that's why i called you out so late all might began to contemplate as he then thought that all for one might have more of supernatural manifestation something wicked must have happened in order for this quirk to latch into people. Young Togata, you should speak to the first master again, please inform me of anything else you learn. Mirio nodded and the two had made their way home. Once All Might got home, he decided to get some rest, not knowing when he or Izuku would be called for the blood work done on Hisashi Midoriya. So the next day at 8 am. It was bright and early at 8 am the sun rays hit Izuku in the face forcing him to wake up. On his left was Ochako, on his right was Nijure, he planted the gentle kiss on their foreheads before getting up to shower. As he was in the shower he let the warm water hit his body. Although he didn't have any bruises on his body, he was still extremely sore after last night's event. When he was out of the shower, he saw both Nijure and Ochako waking up. Morning girls, as the two had turned to him and smiled at him then, like in the similar way, uh, saying good morning Izuku, they had given him a good morning kisses before heading off to shower. Izuku had checked his phone to see if he had any messages but to his surprise there was none to be found. As he went to the living room he was greeted with a good morning hug by his mother. The two prepared breakfast together when they were finished. Ochako and Nijure greeted the two and then the four enjoyed the meal together. After finishing Izuku got a message from Detective uh, like Nomoza Tsukiyishi, which read, result in, a, result in meat when available. It was the moment of truth. Izuku changed into slacks and a banana and told his mom and girls he'd been summoned by the police. So, in the police station, upon walking in, Izuku checked in and asked for like the, the detective after few minutes of waiting, Izuku was taken where Nomoza and All Might were. Midoriya, glad to have you with us now. We ran the DNA test multiple times and I think you will be more at ease with the result. As Izuku looked over to Shiiti, like was handed a tried DNA, resulted 100%. Hisashi Midoriya, quirk fire breath, Izuku himself had excelled a breath. He didn't know he held. Now, come to my question why and how the hell was he all for one? I can guarantee he never got a second to change into someone while he didn't have the quirk uh, restraining cuffs on him. I think I can answer that, All Might said with both look at him. The former pro began explaining a medieval dream to them with the statement of all for one quirk. Uh, quirks processing uh, like possessing people scaring them. Izuku knew his father was uh, like uh, spiteful at his company for having him go aboard but never thought he'd be that like spiteful. So what do we do now? The man known as All for One fought you at Kamino. However, the man known as Hisashi Midoriya didn't. As far as anyone could tell, he was unwilling victim in all this. Okay, but what do we tell your father? Like my father, Izuku said, Hi, you were possessed by an evil quirk for 15 years and nearly killed both your son and the former number one pro hero. Enjoy life. I don't think he'll be so forthcoming with it. All Might and Tsukushi looked at Izuku for him to sight. At least I brought some childhood photos and once of my mom and him as a like percussion. Izuku walked into the interrogation room to see his father head on the table. I've told you people a million times I'm not this awful one person. You keep calling me. We know that now and I'm sorry I doubt you dad. And another thing, I'm not your dad kid. My only son isn't even a month old and I only got to see him for a effing 
hour until I had to leave for a damn business trip. This is actually true. Izuku passed a few photos to him in co along with some of Izuku growing up before passing him DNA tests proving what he was saying. When Hisashi saw the picture it showed the growth of his son from infant to toddler at lastly teenager then come to the kicker the DNA test comparing the two it read big bold letter Izuku Midoriya and Hisashi Midoriya complete biological match with a tear in his eyes he looked up from the sheet of the paper Izuku the young man nodded and Hisashi ran to the young man and like embraced him as like as he then began to apologize my little boy has become a fine young man I'm so sorry I wasn't there when uh, ne like you needed me it then became like a uh, incomprehensible like muttering which uh, like made Izuku realize where his muttering came from let's go home dad he saw she realized what if Inko had moved on and remarried will I still be welcome didn't Inko remarry Izuku looked at his father and said we've been waiting for you to come home dad I also have two people I want you to meet at the like at the Midoriya residence Hisashi was then sent home with Izuku after the police got to the story from Tsukishi and that Hisashi was being used by the mastermind quirk. Hisashi was declared as a free man as he walked to the entrance. Izuku opened the door to leave his father in like for him to notice three pair of women's shoes in the entrance. Mom, I'm home. Izuku called out to Inko for her initially and Ochako to walk into the hallway to greet him back hi honey how was your walk at this to like stay and in course start mid sentence when she saw hisashi behind izuku hisashi is that you and hisashi said yeah was a little lost for a word unsure what to say in i know this doesn't um, like amount to anything but i'm so sorry for leaving you and izuku alone to fend for yourselves if i could take anything in my life back it will be that i want both of you where you had to raise your son alone and izuku had to grow up without a father i have no right to give excuses for why i left and will leave if you wish all i want to say is how sorry i am and will do whatever it takes to make it up for you both it's actually got to hear like his hand and uh, like and knees to show how much he wished for his wife, to, like wife forgiveness. Tears were seen coming out of his eyes, proving he was like remorseful, waiting for any punishment or harsh word he was given. His eyes shot up when he felt calm hand on his cheek to notice Inko looking at him through tears. I'm sorry if you were hurt by this, Hisashi. I don't blame you, nor do I hate you. I just wanted to know why you left us. I can't even answer it. One minute I'm sitting on a flight because of my stupid job. The next thing I'm being hauled away while being told I nearly killed our son and so many others. I hate myself for what I did to Izuku and want nothing more than to make a right with that if anything. Inko had, like, had hugged the man while they both started crying. You are still the man I, like I love, a caring man who wished only to help others. You don't need forgiveness because I never hated you. Izuku never hated you. Both began to like crying in like heartfelt hug while Izuku walked over to his girlfriend who hugged him as well. The five smiled as they calmed down and met each other when Hisashi learned of his son not only having one but two girls as his girlfriend he hugged the three and cried thanking them for being there for his son the reunion and meeting was rather hectic but the five survived it so in another place an eternal darkness was seen in the mighty cap of unknown victim with the specter of a man whose face was clouded by darkness showed himself to the person it would appear i have found my new host Simeon no Chigraki, though no matter I shall take this world by storm once again when I claim your body as my own. The darkness began to grow bright as a new vessel for the world ultimate evil walked to the mirror. The F was that dream. The person looked into the mirror to reveal a certain ash blonde who had quite a grudge against Izuku. 
Also, we can hear a screaming that says, Katsuke, get your butt down here. Shut up, you old hag, I'm coming. The morning, like Katsuke woke up, still angry and bitter about being removed from the Halo course, he texted Kami to come over early so they could, like, F. When he got there, Kami was watching the news with Katsuke's parents and she had the look in her eyes as if someone landed on her kill list. What are you all watching? The moment he saw what was on TV, it angered him greatly. The caption read, Katal is the next number one hero? In a question mark. In bold letter appeared on TV screen, Katsuki began to like gr grind his teeth in anger the whole morning. The news had covered every incident Catalyst had been the hero of. What followed was reporters asking the public what they thought about him. The boy seemed to have a, br a bright future. That quirk is also really cool. If I had to fight him as a villain, I'd give up after seeing what he do can do. I feel horrible for those scars he has, but he seems to have an amazing future nonetheless. Every like every comment on how Izuku was amazing was like a knife, pri like piercing his chest on how like enraged he was at Izuku for being the cause in his mind of why he was kicked out of the hero course. In another related the news, All Might has officially declared his retirement. Many the are heartbroken at this, but other look to the future hoping that his like shoes will be filled by two upcoming heroes, a third year in UN known as the Million and the mighty the first year Catalyst. Bakugo couldn't take it anymore and shut the TV off. Hey, we were watching that. I'm done hearing about effing Deku. He's doing amazing work, get over it and find another goal in life. I wouldn't want to put it bluntly as Mitsuki, but she does have a point, Katsuki. You may have lost the chance to become a pro hero, but that doesn't mean your life is over. You can still find other ways to be a great man in the world. Shut up, old man! Before, like, Bakugo stormed out and the house with uh, Kami while, like, slamming the door shut for both of his mother and father to f uh, like to feel as if they felt as a parent so i'm gonna stop it right here i'm sorry i could it like i didn't keep promise to make the 30 million clock video but i hope you enjoy it so before i end this video stay home stay safe for wash your hands and please don't forget to subscribe and like don't like the video until you enjoy it and see you in the next video peace out bye bye